Hi there, and welcome to this Thursday edition of Erongo Talk. My name is Adolf, and today we find ourselves here at the Sam Cohen Library in Swakop Munt. So as usual, we have our, our usual segments, which includes the news, weather, as well as the tides. And we also have a very exciting interview with a local activist by the name of Anandara. So you do not want to miss out on that one. So stay tuned for today's calendar day. It is now time for the news brought to you here in the Sam Cohen Library in Swakopmund. And in our first story, the Mike's Amazon recently called at the port of Valfus Bay and the vessel, which has a length of about 334 meters, docked in a very foggy and windy conditions for its first ever visit or trip to uh, Namibian Harbor. Uh, a current drought is expected or reported to be 10.4 meters and her width is uh, 42.8 meters. Uh, the container ship was built in 2009 um, and is sailing under the flag of Singapore. Uh, the, the Namibian Port Authority, that is Namport, expressed the hope that this will not be the last visit by a majestic uh, container vessel uh, with a carrying capacity of 8,200 TEUs. So TEUs stands for 20-foot equivalent unit. You can catch this one on our website, which is www.erongo.com.na. So secondly, uh, travelers from other regions in the country and abroad have been left confused and directionless after President Gengop announced the lockdown of the Commerce region due to a steep rise in COVID-19 infections uh, experienced. So the president said that Vintuk uh, recorded 52 um, percent of the total cases in the country and is currently the epicenter in the fight against the pandemic. Uh, to contain the further spread of the disease, exit and entry into Vinduk Okahanja, uh, Riobot local authority areas is restricted, he said during a briefing on Tuesday night. Uh, returning residents, essential service providers in possession of a relevant permit, uh, emergency medical cases, and those transporting human remains to other regions for burial purposes are uh, exempted for, from the newly introduced restriction. So you can also check that one out on our website, which is www.erongo.com.na. And finally, a humpback whale that beached at Sandwich Harbor um, was successfully refloated after three hours on Monday afternoon. So N Noda Dreyer from Ocean Conservation Namibia shared the heroic story on Facebook. And according to Dreyer, this was probably the 10th largest whale stranded he attended, but the first successfully uh, refloated and he was quoted as saying I was starting to lose hope but this will give us strength for the next 20 he said so Drea said that he received a call from JP Koch of Red Dune Safaris uh, that his brother Jock had found a live humpback whale on the beach at Sandwich Harbor uh, about 50 kilometers south of Falfus Bay, which led to him attending to it. So that was our news. Um, do catch more of these stories on our website, which is www.erongo.com.na.
here at Sandwich Harbor in Namibia. Um, we have a juvenile humpback that's been stranded for about, well, we got the call around noon. We've been trying to refloat it um, for the past couple hours. The tide's coming in, so there's still a chance. We managed to get the samples and the data collected that we do off stranding. Give us a peek into some of the data and information that you can't collect from the boat. But not the happiest of days. Looks like it's probably not gonna make it. We had some a lot more people here earlier. We're sticking around to see what we can do. Yeah, I'll let you know what happens. Well, just after I was saying, I didn't think it was possible. We'll see, I'll try and leave the camera here for a second. But as you can see, no more whale. Uh, tide came in. To be honest, I think he did most of the work on its own. Straightened himself out and started kicking. Guys, how are we feeling right now? Awesome, pretty great. Did we just save a whale? Yeah. Woo! I think I'm a bit shocked. Like my emotions are a bit. <laughs> Okay, so with me here is youth activist Anandara, who's only 16 years old, but she has a lot going on. Anna, how are you this morning? I'm amazing. I'm doing great. <laughs> it's good to see you again. Now, Anna, um, this weekend, um, your foundation um, hosted a male summit. But before we get into that, please tell us about the foundation. Okay, hi there. My name is Anandara, a student at the International School of Hope Bay and the founder of Aoni Azizi Foundation. Aoni Azizi means helping the valuable and it's a foundation that promotes male empowerment. We have realized that males in society are being neglected and it's high time we give them a space, a chance to speak out and, and not be judged. 90% um, of uh, the executives in Aoni Azizi are females, which is something unique as we rarely get females who stand male empowerment these days. Yes, that's true. Now tell us about the, the, the executive. How many females are you? What are the ages? We have six females mm -hmm. from the age of 16 to 18 years old. Wow. And we have two males. Yes. Two males. <laughs> uh, one is 
18 mm -hmm. and the other one is 21 years old sure and this foundation was established in may in may this year yes may 2021 sure so it's quite very um i'm still young at the end yes, of the day still fresh yes so <laughs> fresh but we are hoping to see a lot of things um now anna this weekend you guys hosted a male summit um just how did it go was it a success yes our male summit was a success it was very fruitful we had three phenomenal phenomenal speakers one was mr P.U. Samuel, a mm -hmm. youth activist as well. We had Mr. Hedipo Johannes, who is an ad consultant and a motivational speaker. We also had Dr. Oki, who is a psychologist in our port city. Aha. Uh -huh. And how, how did the people who attended it perceive the event? Oh, they actually enjoyed The feedback was mind-blowing. I didn't <laughs> expect them to enjoy that much. Yeah, it was really... Cool. So this was your first event. Um, what are the other events that we can see from the foundation? Well, we have a list, a long list. Yes. <laughs> but since it's covered, we have to tone it a bit yes. down. Yes. When it's all toned down, we are going to have a mentorship program. That's our first event, mm -hmm. our next project. Because at the Mill Summit, we realize that most of the mills who attended there did not have mentors. Ah. And it's really a concern. As a, as a youth, you have to have one person or more who really uh, who's guiding you throughout your life journey. Yes, now Anna, in your opinion, do you think the, uh, the men of today need more guidance um, in terms of um, leading their families and um, being better men? It depends, honestly, it depends. Most people, most males believe to go cultural way, yes. some are modern, so it really depends on the person's personality. Mm -hmm. Okay, now um, um, t Anna, tell us about the vision you have for the foundation. Well, we see ourselves nationwide in a few years. Yes. Currently, we are just in Walpus Bay and Rundu, and we would like to work in every region. Mm -hmm. Because it doesn't help us just working in Walpus Bay and Rundu, and the other regions we are not helping. The, those boys are also ours. They, we are one Namibia, one nation. Definitely, definitely. Now, Anna, you're only 16 now. Yes. Um, you still have your whole life in front oh, of you. Yes. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Next five years? I see myself graduating. Yes. <laughs> in what? In what, what do you want to study? I want to study psychology or social work. Uh -huh. human, human yes, work, yes, yes. And then you would love to take your foundation further on yes, with you. I want it to grow with me. Yes. I grow, it also grows with me. Wow, that's amazing. Now, um, Anna, what is your message, firstly, for the young men of today? What would you like to tell them? Okay. For the young Namibian males watching this, you are worthy, you are valuable. Don't let them lie to you. Great, mm. Your greatness is not determined by your genitals. Yes, that's true. And for the young ladies of today? Ah, queens, you guys are <laughs> queens, you know it. Know your worth as, as I believe you guys do. The future is not only females, the future is not only males. We are all the future. Let's stand together as a Namibian youth and repair gender equality in our country. Awesome. Now tell me, where can the people follow you? Facebook, Instagram? Um... We are currently on your Instagram. Follow us on Aoni underscore Azizi. Mm -hmm. And then there they can see what you guys yes, are planning. All the updates are there. Everything is there. And tell me, can the youth um, of Office Bay get involved with the foundation? And how can they get involved? Oh, yes. For now, we don't have, we're going to do the things formally as from next month. But for now, I just we're just going to get your name, sign it up. And next month, we're going to give out membership cards. Aha, uh -huh, nice. Yes. And then just finally, Anna, what motivates you? <sighs> what motivates you? My passion. Yes. This is actually, I believe this is my calling. I love serving people. I, I, I love helping. I believe all this, it's, it's something that comes from my heart because yes. it aligns with my purpose. So yes. my passion motivates me. And you're so young and you have your purpose. Yes. What would you like to tell the people of today about that? <sighs> Start your self-discovery journey now. It's never too late. You, even if you're 35 years old and you don't know yourself, start now. It's never too late. Sure. Thank you so much, Anna. Thank you for speaking to us today. Welcome. Ik was vooral veel een studiebank te geven. So, kom ik vertellen hoe ik, hoe ik studeer en hier en wat, wat, wat. So, ik lees eerst hier aan mijn werk. Dan doe ik opzommings. Maar mijn opzommings gaan vraag, vraag stellen en een worksheet van die vorige jaren bij de onderwijzers. En dan, nadat ik het gedoen het en ik het willen gevat, doe ik klomp, 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 klomp herziening. Herziening is een paar belangrijk. Want dit is dus een plant, als je die altijd herzien, is het dus als je plant water geeft en dan groei je plant moos. So, kom op, wij zijn gaan veel vinnig voor wat. Hij gaat nog niet veel wijzen uit die is iemand. Dit was dan niet nodig. Ja. 
Ja, is de Iso is nou een basis opzommen van klonkwiskunde goeders. Dit is indices, vele wat die weet. Um, so ja, opzommings, 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 laat sy, laat sy, laat sy, laat sy, en ons gaan so aan. En dan, en daarna, gaan we naar onderwijzers toe. Dan krijg je jou een vraag stellen. Hoe goed, hier so die vraag maar ek gemerk, vir my gewijs wat ek kerk was, enzovoort, enzovoort. Dan kom het nou by die eindpunt van die examen. En het lijkt het te slecht in. 72 uit 80. 72 uit 80 is die te slecht hier, so kom ons werk daar uit. 72 uit 80. Dit is 90%. So ja, probeer hierdie, ek gloor het sal vir werk, en jy lekker dag verder. Tot ziens. It is now time for the weather forecast as well as the tides in Sokopund and all the other major towns in the Erongo region.
all good things do come to an end and that also includes a wrongo talk but do not despair we do have so much more uh, news as well as many many other features on our website which is www.erongo.com.na you can also send us a telegram or whatsapp on our number which is 0811-700040 i repeat that number again it is 0811-700040 so we do find ourselves in the pandemic so do practice common sense sanitize wear your masks uh, keep a social distance and do adhere to all the latest uh, regulations and restrictions that have been adjusted by the head of state uh, dr hage gengop so tomorrow we'll be back in valfers bay with a very another very exciting show um, from me and the the rest of the erongo talk crew it has been a pleasure having you in my company goodbye <laughs>